I'm taking a brief detour from Excolidraw to explore other aspects of visual personal knowledge management. Today, I'd like to show you how I have started using the MapView plugin in my Obsidian Vault. But before diving into MapView, I'd like to give you a bit of context first. Whenever you're faced with organizing information, it may seem as if there are a million ways to go about it. And in reality, I guess there are an infinite number of ways to doing anything. However, when it comes down to organizing information, there are really only five ways to do it. The concept of the five hat racks was developed by Richard Saul Worman and published in his 1989 book, Information Anxiety. Those of you who are not familiar with Richard, he is the creator of the famous TED Talks. The five hat racks is also known as the LATCH principle, where LATCH is an acronym that stands for location, alphabet, time, category, and hierarchy. I have moved to Obsidian about nine months ago. Overall, I have roughly 4,400 markdown files in my vault and an additional 1,600 PDF documents and images and other files. I have about 300 tags and 640 folders. These are not all new notes, of course. Many of them I've moved over from the brain and from Rome. But whichever way I look at it, my obsidian vault has started to become a bit of a mess. A cleanup is long overdue. So the last couple of days I've spent some additional time gardening in my vault. And what I would like to do in the upcoming videos is to share some of my core obsidian workflows that I'm now documenting as part of this cleanup process. I've used the brain for almost two decades. My point of reference for organizing my Obsidian Vault is the system that I have developed in the brain. This was based on the concept of providing multiple entry points for the same information by creating parallel organizational structures based on time, location, category, and hierarchy. My daily journal forms the backbone of my knowledge graph Topics are linked to the days on which I was engaged in dealing with them. But, additional to linking to daily notes, thoughts are also colored based on their categories and organized into hierarchies of contexts, such as digital note-taking, sketchnoting, drawing and painting, hobbies, and so on. Beyond the categories, I also created different indexes such as location, calendar, people, workflow status. And when you put all of this together, this creates a very rich context for information that helps find information as well as catalyzes lateral discovery. The MapView plugin is a mind-blowing upgrade to the location index I once had in the brain. MapView is an interactive map for your Obsidian Vault. It searches your notes for encoded geolocations and places them as markers on a map. You can set different icons for different note types, you can filter the display notes, and much more. MapView is like a personal GIS system providing a complementary view for your notes. Just as the Obsidian Graph View lets you visualize associative relations between your notes, the Map View lets you visualize geographic ones. In the simplest case, you can encode a document by adding the Location Front Matter tag. As an example, let's encode some of the locations I visited with my family on our USA tour in 2018. Let's convert Capitol Reef into a document and let's search for the national park on Google. Once I've found the location, all I need to do is to copy the URL and to navigate back to Obsidian, where I will add the location from Matter tag and right-click to paste as geolocation. 
If you want to add a custom icon, then you need to set a tag for the document. In this case, I don't have a tag for national parks, so I will first set up this tag in settings by scrolling down to marker icon rules. As you can see above, you can use font awesome icons. So let's look at the available icons on the font awesome website. It sometimes takes a bit of time to come up with the right keyword to find the desired icon. You need to prefix the icon name you found on Font Awesome with FA dash. In our case, it is FA dash three. You need to specify the tag and optionally you can specify a color and a shape. You will find available shapes following this link. Now we can head back to our document and set the tag location slash national parks and voila, the marker has appeared on the map. If you don't want to create new pages for all the items in the list, then you can add the empty locations front matter key to the document and you can add geolocation links to your locations. Let's do this for Zion National Park. And that's it. Finally, if you're an advanced user, you'll be happy to know that you can add custom SVG images as icons in case you cannot find the right icon on the Font Awesome website. You can either use Xcolidraw to create your icon and save it as an SVG, or you can search for an appropriate icon, for example, on the Noun Projects website. So that sums up my introduction of MapView. I highly recommend adding a location index to your vault and giving MapView a try. Thank you.